Hello my peculiars and welcome back or welcome to my peculiar corner if you are new here. My name is Andy and here we are at yet another magical Friday encounter. I hope you had a great week. Mine was nice. Uh, it's getting warmer so that's good. I mean you know I love winter and I love snow but honestly this year I can't wait for spring actually because uh, the cycling season starts and I'm a huge fan of cycling. So I can't wait. I'm gonna take you with me on some journeys. If it's a castle or something that it's connected with magic, definitely I'm gonna make a video or a vlog about it and I'm gonna tell you in more about that. But so if you are gonna stick around in the future, you are gonna see more videos with magical places. That's the plan. So don't forget to just click the subscribe button, click the notification bell so you can always stay up to date with my content and like and comment so you can just help a bit my peculiar corner. And if you like my content, also don't forget to go on my Instagram account. There is more peculiar content there. And yeah, just follow me if you like what you are seeing. But anyway, today, this week, I'm going to show you another subscription box for, from Mr. Magic, as I already mentioned in the past. This one is Find Your Magical Jobs. So yeah, without further ado, let's crack on with the show. Here I am back and ready to show you what's in this amazing box. Now, we don't have a sticker on top of the box as we had with the divination one, but we do have a sticker right here that says Find Your Job. Am I correct? Yeah, Find Your Magical Job. There's the sticker. So the top of the box I'm not going to show you because it's literally just the, my address and details like this, so it does not matter. I have to tell you that this box is uh, very beautiful as the other ones, of course. But yeah, I will just, you know, start digging in and let you see it yourself because it's pointless to hear my constant uh, praising of their boxes. So here, yeah, here there is just a customs notice, it's for uh, customs to know details about the box, I'm not gonna go through that. So first, I'm gonna show you something that it's one of my most favorite items in this box. And we have the Elder Dragon, Dragonologist Care Kit, established 1564. This is a tin box. And inside, we have fire-resistant beard oil. That's the little box. Now, if you go on my Instagram, you will see a picture with each item in this little uh, tin box. We have a skin balm, protects from burns and cuts. And it's so well done that inside there is some, there is no cream or anything, but it is done in such a way, I don't know, they put some wax or I have no idea, but if you look inside, it really looks like there is some balm and it's a bit used and, you know, burnt maybe. So very, 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 well done and a lot of attention to details as we are used with uh, Mr. Magic. And then we also have this little like booklet and it says especially created for dragonologists and dragon breeders. This kit can be used by any gentleman working near sparks and flames. Success guaranteed from first application, perfectly harmless for the skin, can be carried in vest pocket, easily accessible anytime, doesn't require spells. Grooming products for beauty gentlemen in need of protection against hazardous sparks and flames. You never know when it's going to set ablaze. Be prepared. And then inside we have how it works for each product. And yeah, I'm gonna just do this for you. Uh, you can just always pause it. And then on the back we also have the about the Elder Dragon. It's about the business. You can again just pause and read if you want to. And yeah, the box looks like this inside. We have a very nice material. And I'm gonna just put this back. They are awesome. I am planning to actually put beard oil in uh, that little bot bottle and use it because as you can see, I have a lot of beard. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it comes in useful. The next item I wanna show you, it's a featherling tournament related item. So here we have an invitation and I have to tell you guys this, the niffler in me, it's beyond happy. Just look at this. I hope you can see the gold foil and everything. And on the back we have featherling tournament, we have Celtic shamrocks versus black kelpies. So this is the admission ticket and we also have 
a betting ticket. It's so nicely done, betting sleep. It's the event, outcome, odds, stake, and then keep this tab. It is your receipt, all that's accepted, subject to rules. And then, uh, you know, the event name you can add. You even have a sleep number. There you go. This is the betting sleep. And that's how it is on the back. We have the, well, let's say the, not coat of arms, but like the symbol of the featherling tournament. Very, very well done. I like how they kept the colors, you know, different shades of green, but it's, it matches and it really makes it feel real. It makes it feel like I just got my ticket for the greatest magical event of the year, the featherling tournament. Very nice. Now, the next thing I want to show you is a Dragonling Postal Service and it's gonna be a badge, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is a badge and it's very cute, I love it. Dragonling Staff Postal Service. Now, after I will show you all of this in the comments below, let me know which one out of the jobs that are, you know, uh, shown through their items you would uh, choose, like which job you would choose out of all of them. I will tell you at the end of the video as well. But I think you already know, but I will tell you at the end of the video. Now, the next thing we have here is, let's see, it's an envelope. It has no marks on it. And uh, yes, it's the Dragonling Postal Service leaflet. It's awesome. I love it so much, like when you open it, it says parcel. All our letters and parcels are magically tracked. You will know exactly where they are at any given time with our special tracking card. Follow the journey of your dragonling with this certificate. And then here we have a certificate. Then here you have the stamps, which are very, very beautiful. And it says, one, choose a sturdy box. Two, close it securely. Three, take it to your local post office. And then on top of everything, here we also have some commercials for other products from the magical world of Mist and Magic. And on the back, it even uh, gives you a size guide and also uh, Dragonling Postal Services for domestic and international destinations. It gives you um, the type that you can choose, you know, the dragon, the postal service that you can choose and the type of the dragon that is gonna, you know, just uh, deliver your parcel. Isn't that just awesome? And we have priority, standard economy, and also again, international and exotic destinations. We have the same start standard, and then we have Arctic and tropical because they are using different dragons for each. And then you also have that you can deliver letter parcel, extra heavy boxes. Again, here it is the booklet, the back, it's with the commercials for, we have specialty treats for dragonlings, croc bites, and also scratch proof, heat resistant, catch your parcel safely with these dragonling proof gloves. Very nice. And we have something else in this envelope. And they are the collectible cards as we are already used from the past boxes. Let's see what collectible cards we have here. So we have a Creatures Bazaar, here you have it, and then on the back, and if you remember from the team chest that I opened, you can literally see some of the creatures that are were in the, actually, as pins, very nice, and hey, here we have the Creatures Bazaar, it's an, uh, an explanation, so if you want, again, just pause it, you can read, I hope you can see it very well. Then we have Curse Breaker, if you want to become a Curse Breaker, Profession ID, we even have an idea, job description, it's a high risk uh, job and it looks like this. And then on the back we have it like this. Again, you pause if you want to read. And then we have the Evening Owl, which is of course a magical newspaper space based in Oxford. And here you go, you have like a page from like front page from the newspaper and then on the back you have again some details about the evening owl. Extremely well done, a lot of attention to details as we are used for from Mr. Magic. Yeah, that's everything we have in this. Let me just pop this back into the envelope 
And then the next item, we have a sachet. I honestly, guys, I even forgot what's inside, but there you go. Here is the sachet, very nice emerald green color. Very good material, I have to say as well. Okay, and now let's see what do we have inside, because I forgot. I think it's a pin. It's again, in fact, in, wrapped in green paper. And I think I know what it is. Oh yeah, these guys, it's one of the most amazing pins I have in my collection. It's a healer pin and you have just the, you know, like the coat of arms of the healers. I really hope my light makes it justice. You can see the gold. It's so nice and there on the, on the edges it says personalis cura or cura personalis healer. This is very nice. And on the back, you have the Mr. Magic sign. It's a double pin pin. Very, very well done. Stunning details, the colors, everything. I love the symbols. It makes it look real. So if you want to be a healer in the Mr. Magic world, you are going to wear this pin badge, this NML pin, not pin badge, this NML pin on your working clothes that would be nice right it's nice and it's also such a satisfying job to know that you are helping so many people right now the next item i want to show you is this and we have magic fire warning keep away from young wizards and witches and this is a box of matches uh it's from the fairy fancy joke shop so if you want to work at the shop i would say here that's how the that's how it looks like and here you have again and on the side it says it's magic each match will produce a flame in the color of your choice no spell needed and i'm going to show you here we have you know the phosphor part but obviously it's not it's a glitter paper and then i'm going to open i'm going to show you some of the matches they are super nice they are very nice of course they don't have the the phosphor part so you cannot lead them it's just uh, pieces of wood colored but it's a lot of attention to detail and it gives it adds that magic you know to the to the to the product to the item itself and it's gonna look amazing displayed on the shelf i'm gonna definitely display it with the joke section where i'm gonna put stuff from like zonkos paper replicas and uh, uh weasley wizard wizzies and so on but again very nice and a lot of attention to details as we are used to now the next thing i want to show you I have it wrapped in purple wrapping paper and we have an exploding fireballs precautions we recommend using gloves these balls are very temperamental they can explode at any time warning keep away from young wizards and witches again this is the box again a lot of attention to all the details it really feels like i just took it from a magical joke shop and then if we open it inside we have this look how gorgeous it's so colorful it's so nice it's gonna add such an amazing detail and so such a, a good aesthetic to, to to the shelves when it's gonna you know when i'm gonna display them very very well done thank you mr magic i cannot uh, thank you enough for 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 all the this super super cool products that you are giving to us and so creative and so original now the next thing i want to show you you know me guys that I'm a mug collector so when I saw this I was like oh, oh my god this is it so this is like a magizologist cup if I'm not mistaken we are gonna check out the cheat sheet at the end as always but look at this just look at the office that's how i imagine my room is gonna look like so guys if you ever asked yourselves how it's and this room gonna look like and this peculiar room is gonna look like this is how my peculiar room is gonna look like this is a perfect mark for like i would say cappuccino because it's very small so i like a small cappuccino i will definitely make a cappuccino in it 100 percent when the room is done so you will see it but you will see it also in my pictures uh, I'm planning to take some more pictures of, of the items from Mr. Magic in the future. But until then, I'm just going to sip my tea from my plastic mug. Non-harmful, I would say. 
I would call it if you want. Now, uh, let's see the next item. Oh, guys, this is gonna be a. So, the next item is Enchanted Distillery Nocturne Escape to the Enchanted World Magical Gin. The attention to the box, it's. And then you just open the box, and inside we have the Nocturnal Gin. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it does light during the night, but I'm not sure. We are gonna read in the cheat sheet. But look at the box, at the bottle. Again, perfect. All the details on point. We have a bit of a silver foil there. And then if we do this, again, magical liquid inside, a magical gene. Uh, again, I'm going to check the cheat sheet at the end and we will see. But as far as I remember, I think it glows in the dark. I did not try it yet, but I should, right? But it's just crazy busy these days. Now, the next item I want to show you, they are prints. So they come very, very nicely wrapped, as always. Very well protected. So we have... Let me just say, because there are many, many prints. So the first one I'm going to show you, it's a Featherling Tournament poster. Just look at this beauty. It's amazing. I can't wait to frame it and put it on the wall. It looks very nice. The quality of the paper is on point. It's very sturdy paper. So yeah, it's an, I don't know, the colors they use, the symbols, the art of it, even the, the edge, the decoration on the edges, the emblems of each team, everything. Very well done. And now, Oh, it's a very small table I have here, guys, so bear with a bit. It's a bit messy here. So, and the, the other two prints, we have uh, two wand prints. So, the first one is a bespoke wand number 01, 15th of March 1927. And this one is Moonstone Antique Gold Wand Core Saint Hair. There we go. And then the next wand we have oh this is gorgeous it's lovely it's bespoke one number zero two 26th of june 1927 african blackwood for its hardness and density and then we have two different patterns for the for the wand and the core is phoenix ashes just look at it i really hope you can see it and i hope the light in my room makes it justice very very beautiful again incredible craftsmanship and uh, creativity and now I'm gonna wrap them after and now the last item it's our one and only favorite magazine from the magical world we have the Arcanist issue number 7392 the number one magical publication of the Ar arcane world I def definitely agree this is for September 2021 uh now i'm gonna show you a bit inside but not much because i'm planning a flip through again uh but i'm gonna tell you the, the contents we have a quiz discover your magical career so you can even do a quiz i'm gonna make a special video just for that and i'm gonna tell you what i what i managed to get as a magical career and you can do the quiz as well and you will let me know in the future in the comments when i'm gonna post that video then Dragonologist, exclusive interview, Wand Course, Fairy Fancy Joke Shop, Arcane Ministry of Magic Recruits, Martial Wands, Sweets and Tricks Shop, Magizologist, Museum of Natural History Exhibition Magizologist Essentials, Blazing Fair Fairy Ran, Featherling Tournament Scores and Fixtures, and the Cheat Sheet at the end. And here, this is how the Magical Career Quiz looks like. Awesome. I still have to do it. I didn't do it yet. And then... Uh, we have some uh, the answers here, of course, so you can so you know where you're gonna work. The dragonologist interview, some commercials with the exploding fireballs, martial wands, wand course. Again, attention to details on point. The federal league tournament article. The portrait uh, of Lana Volikova, magizologist. 
and you can see some of the items from the past boxes actually actually i have the map of the continent i have the field notebook i'm not sure i don't think i have it i need to buy a magnifying glass that's true the antidotes for potions those i don't have i know that mr magic had them in a one of their first boxes so i don't have that unfortunately but look at this blazing fairy wren the bird the, the colors are just i don't even oh it's so lovely i just want this to be printed on my wall and then we have the cheat sheet so we have two one prints healers and ml pin tournament ticket and betting slip federalink poster dragonologist care kit three collectible cards Nocturne Magical Gin, and here I'm gonna read because let's see. The Enchanted Distillery is the most famous distillery of magical gin and is favored for the sweet taste and slight vision inducing properties of their spirit. So I don't know, I'm gonna to have to try to see if it glows in the night. If you already have it, let me know in the comments if it does go. Then we have Dragon Link Postal Service brochure, Exploding Fireballs, Magic Fire Matchbox, Mini Mug Arcanist's Office, Dragon Link Postal Service Staff Badge, and the Arcanist Magazine. And here at the end we have some of the commercials again and on the back next issue of the arcanist magazine it looks very nice it's about winterdale university of magic so let's see in the future hopefully i would love to find out more about winterdale uh in one of my future videos i'm gonna definitely show you uh i bought the first ever subscription box i ever bought in my life was in 20 20 if i'm not mistaken and it was from mr magic it was one of their boxes i don't remember the theme uh, of the boxes but i know that i had some of like the for example the winterdale um admission letter it was there so i can show you but some of the items are packed in different boxes so i need to put them together and then i'm going to show you uh, what I got because they also have a celestial map print and that was awesome very nice and some other wand print so i'm gonna once i'm gonna find all the items i'm gonna definitely make a video about that and show them to you anyway all in all let me know which one is your favorite item i honestly i it's impossible for me to choose which one but one of my most favorites of course is the dragonologist kit that is also the job i would love to have i would definitely be a dragonologist in the magical world or a um, teacher of magical of care of magical creatures absolutely or a uh, magizologist in general because i just love magical creatures you know that but above all i love i love dragons a lot so yeah definitely i would study to become a magizologist with later on becoming full dragonologist study dragons go discover new species write a book about dragons why not maybe i'm gonna even do it if you are gonna stick around my channel you're gonna find out in the future if i'm gonna you know write a book about dragons you never know i'm full of surprises so yeah i would say that um the pin is the dragonologist kit that is one of my favorite the pin also i love the arcanist magazine i don't know i would have to do a, a, a like a top of the items i love because i like all of them like there is nothing that i like less or you know it's just like i don't know they are all number one <laughs> anyway let me know in down in the comments below which item you like the most which job you would love to have in the magical world i'm very curious to know more about you and the interest you have in magic and witchcraft and wizardry and until next week don't forget two very important things stay magical stay peculiar always thank you and bye for now